Hello, this is Richard Crusoe in Safford, Arizona, and this is part three of Afterlife Proof, featuring the 1987 limestone head carving I call Spiritual Wet Eyes. Now in this part three, I want to talk about those of you who may be thinking that these teary eyes are not the work of a higher power, but simply humidity happenstance. I have already shown in the original Afterlife Proof and Afterlife Proof Part 2 that only a higher power can constantly select the eyes and eyelids for its tearing. But I am aware that skeptics might admit that they have no answer for how the humidity selects only the eyes and eyelids, but as skeptics they would probably still discount the Holy Spirit by claiming it has to be humidity happenstance. Oh really? Then if it's the humidity happenstance, then on a windy, rainy, 100% humid day, the eyes should be darker than on a dry, calm, sunny day. But it's just the opposite. Look at this photo taken with a rain-soaked wooden bench at upper right. Note the eyes are actually dry, along with most of the face. Only the flat, uncarved portion at top is damp. Yet note the dampness to the raised brown stone to the right, and don't forget that soaked wooden bench on the previous photo that sat above. In this photo, it's dry, because it's a dry day. But on the day in which it was raining, and everything is wet, in which the photo will come up again, there it is, everything is wet from the rain except the carved face. It's almost as if the Holy Spirit is going out of his way by declaring, Hey, don't compare my purposeful tearing of the eyes with humidity in the air. The previous wet photo on the wet day yet with dry eyes, that previous photo proves there is no humidity happenstance. In fact, on such a windy, rainy day as you see here, the Holy Spirit goes to the extreme of keeping the whole car face equally dry. Here is a dry day where the eyes are wet. While doing the impressive opposite on dry, calm, sunny days, in tearing darkly the eyes and sometimes overflowing even eyelids, like in the previous photo. In short, as you see here, to conclude part three, the Holy Spirit has gone out of his way to prove his purpose is not happenstance. And here we see the rainy day, yet dry eyes. If it was humidity happenstance, the eyes would be very, very dark with moisture. Yet on a rainy day, as you see here, the eyes are dry. On a dry day, the eyes are wet, the Holy Spirit doing His work. This is the end of part three.